China is full of astonishing local folk music traditions, often rooted in the art of storytelling. And the lives of the bearers of these traditions are part of the story of modern China. Once we leave the bright concert halls of Beijing or Shanghai, music is a vital part of daily life in poor rural communities. Wu Man, the renowned virtuoso of the traditional pipa, left China 20 years ago to further her musical explorations. Since then, she's adventured widely through the world of music, successfully introducing the pipa to Western audiences and working with some of the great composers and musicians. But she's never forgotten her roots. Now Wu Man has returned to her homeland, to a very different China, and discovered the vital, ancient roots of a musical culture facing unprecedented challenges. I was born in an artistic family, and uh, my father is an artist. Um, so I grew up with this sort of very artistic situation around me. And uh, so very naturally for me to start to pick up the traditional music. When I was age 13, I went to Beijing and uh, a central conservatory music school to study pipa. After graduation, after years, and I had a great opportunity to come to West to start my musical journey. Fortunate enough for me, I worked with so many wonderful and the greatest musicians and, and composers. I love the creation to, to making new music, but of course the traditional music, um, it's always in my heart. Daily life in rural China is filled with incredible musical variety and ancient local traditions. I wanted to share some of my discoveries with you. Family bands rarely heard in public. Vibrato musical rituals passed down over the centuries. Gifted musicians with their distinctive ways of making music. I have discovered that in these villages, everyday life brings something new when there is music involved. This is another world. Dusty, decrepit villages, still largely dependent on the heavens to bring water for their crops. Life may be more free now than it was 20 years ago, but it is still very tough. The lives of folk musicians and the ways they learn are very different from us urban musicians. <laughs> They learned by hereditary traditions with the family, handing down the rituals and musical skills.
For example, like the Taoists, Li family band, a part of their learning is how to advise the villagers on the geomancy and auspicious timings. So their rituals and the music are very complex. These bands are mainly hired for village events, such as village temple fairs, weddings, funerals, ritual ceremonies, and New Year celebrations. The puppeteer has a mastery of complex ancient plots about emperors, scholars, and outlaws embodying Chinese history and mythology. I never cease to be amazed at their musicianship, their flexibility. Over the past 20 years, China has become westernized in many ways. Traditional music is not as active as it once was. Many listeners want to hear only the new. Young people are listening to pop music. Traditional music is facing extreme challenges. I don't like to think that this incredible music that has been accompanied lives for local communities for so many centuries just simply disappeared because of the pop music. It will be shame if I not do the documentary. And I hope someday um, we will remember there is incredible, rich Chinese traditional music which passed down for centuries was existing in rural China. <laughs> I have returned to my homeland to document the roots of traditional Chinese music before it disappears altogether. Revealing a world of people and sounds simply forgotten or perhaps never known to the outside world.